guys, this is Sara from the band uh, Shireen and you are watching Green TV. To begin with, how are you doing today? Today, uh, pretty good. I had some uh, vocal coaching students and I was just hanging out at home and I'm doing great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um... From from what I saw in 2022, you had like yeah. quite a couple of shows with with She Rain. Yeah, uh, actually we were at Tuska in the summer, yeah. and after that we were warming up uh, Infected Rain and then Stamina, so quite big <laughs> <laughs> slots <laughs> there. Uh, we also had our own gig at Kuopio Hönä, and where were we at? Fest. Yeah, the, yeah, Kuopio was Otto Poika and Hönö was in Tampere and then the horse fest, yes. yes. Final, <laughs> final, finally the horse fest. Yes, finally, after like how many years? <laughs> yeah, I had like twi twice the later I think yeah. it was found. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Tuska show, it looked quite hot and heavy. Yeah, it was packed. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we were quite fine in the in the stage, but mm -hmm. I don't know, know about the audience. That they Some of my friends said that they ran out of air and mm -hmm. it was like... Oh, <laughs> I can imagine. So I didn't get yeah. in because every time it was just yeah. packed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're we're here kind of mostly to talk about your finally upcoming <laughs> debut album. <laughs> like finally, yeah. So um, yeah. I'm your first like announcement or first songs were in twenty twenty. Yeah, think? Some, yeah, something like that. Because although Corona, we decided to be extra brave and start mm -hmm. releasing our music like being like this corona will be over <laughs> like in a two months or something mm -hmm. and well <laughs> that <Nope>. didn't happen <laughs> so we just had to keep on releasing the singles and finally now the album <laughs> so all this time you've sort of been kind of sitting on that album yeah yeah, yeah. it has been ready for the three years or something so yeah, yeah. yeah. But I don't, it's it's been good that we had time to like uh, think about our band. What do we want to sound like? Because mm -hmm. the final mixing was done uh, last year, so I think everything has a purpose in in that sense. So yeah, yeah, yeah like I, I guess it's for like a beginning band. In a way, it, it's like a difficult period to overcome that 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 pandemic. But yeah, I, I guess it really gives you the time to really like down on like yeah. who you are because yeah. we had the feedback from the first singles we had the mm -hmm. losing side and mm -hmm. against the odds and the feedback back was like they are like the mixing wise was like different mm -hmm. from a different worlds and uh, I read some some reviews of the of the album that they are the listener was a uh, Pleasantly surprised that the whole album is like uh, having a flow of its own and a uh, sound of its own. So that is uh, what we did last year, just like bring it all together yeah. you know, with the album. So. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, now for the album itself, does it like have like any like overarching themes um, going or? Well, that comes from the the in a way the, from the title of the album, the mm -hmm. Ghost Diaries. Yeah. It's just um, like a pieces from the past life, things that have really happened. Mm -hmm. So there are like uh, real things that has happened in my life, and of course, in other people's lives. Uh, I try to like not to be too direct so you cannot like <laughs> uh, see what's going on and who is doing and what <laughs> but mm -hmm. still they are pieces from my own life and that makes it even more personal and that is where the diaries come from mm -hmm. so they are past things that are in a way better also let be like forgotten or something mm -hmm. so we just go forward and actually we have the second album quite ready to so <laughs> it's like I'm just waiting to get this baby released mm -hmm. and then we can move on to new things yeah yeah well, that's, that's gonna be interesting to see how how, yeah. how how things progress since you already have like yeah. new stuff coming like later on but yeah ready. yeah, <laughs> yeah now, now we can focus on this <laughs> yeah. um, I was also wondering like I saw the the 
the album cover, yeah. which is quite striking. Yeah. Um, did that sort of come like from you guys or purely from the artists or is it like a story behind it or? Well, we gave free hands to the mm -hmm. artist yeah. so that he could show us what he hears. Mm -hmm. And he also knew the name of the album. Mm -hmm. If yeah, well, for me it was a bit shocking. Mm -hmm. I was like, we cannot use this. Like it's too pop, uh, like too light. Mm -hmm. We have to have something rock and like <laughs> metal and uh, something with stronger colors and mm -hmm. s something more striking, like shocking. Mm -hmm. But still. Uh, we made a boat, <laughs> uh, and the guys were like, "This is this is the one," mm -hmm. and I'm like, "Okay." I gave it a couple of days to mm -hmm. sink in, and uh, I was like, "Okay, let's do this," because I actually like the blindfold mm -hmm. on the person's face. Like it, it really tells that there's something hazy going on mm -hmm. and it makes you question like why and what is happening yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's a quite like I don't know striking image like it, it's something that that even though it's so light maybe yeah. it sticks out a little bit more yeah in a way from the other rock and metal <laughs> <laughs> covers yeah yeah I've, I've seen like quite some like more like kind of modern metal and, and rock yeah. bands going for that kind of like different take a little bit and, yeah. and trying to tell a story that is not just we're dark and heavy yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah because actually because uh, all the songs in the album are not dark and heavy they mm -hmm. are also very empowering and uh, what, is, what is the they want to make you like um, fear feel empowered in your life so it's not all about just me pouring my heart out like mm -hmm. oh, life is so unfair <laughs> yeah, like yeah. empowering and kind of trying to be a bit um uplifting yeah 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 and inspiring yeah, yeah. <laughs> motivating <laughs> now the words come <laughs> yeah. yeah it's 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 nice when when like music can do that for yeah for people i don't know if, if there's already like um someone that approached you about like shirin music that it somehow like helped them through something yeah actually this one mother told me that uh, during her labor mm -hmm. she listened to losing sight like on repeat mm -hmm. because it gave her strength and i was like okay <laughs> wow <laughs> it was like and so that is when the music works mm -hmm. people maybe not they don't like maybe spread it outwards but they use it in their own mm -hmm. lives and i think that is very important and that is the reason why I, uh, in the first place, began to make music, because I found these uh, my own places with the music that I could relate to the artist or the music, and it gave me this uh, power in a way to manage and cope in difficult situations yeah. in life. So, yeah, yeah. It's it's always nice to hear those kind of stories of actually people yeah. approaching the artist like, hey, yeah. this helped me through this or this. Is yeah. it's always interesting to hear those. Yeah. So that, that was a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> Success. <laughs> um, now, once you've released the album, you're gonna have like, like, was it two release shows together with yeah. Dark Sarah? Yeah, Dark Sarah. That is a interesting combo. I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to that one too. I have been following Dark Sarah for many years, so it's very very uh, nice thing to share the stage with them. Mm -hmm. So we're on, on the rocks on February the 17th and then we are at Uotalo Tampere yeah. on 4th of March. Yeah. 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 And after that we have some shows coming <laughs> up but I'm not allowed to say about those. Yeah. <laughs> As often. Yes. <laughs> um, well it's kind of nice to see like two kind of independent bands yeah. uh, sharing a stage for the release show yeah. it's like in that way it's kind of like a nice nice combo and I think and I think it will like uh, attract different kind of people mm -hmm. we are still uh, quite different bands with Dark Sarah yeah. but I still I find my we have this uh, we could share the fan base in a way so I hope mm -hmm. that people have a versatile and nice evening with two two different kind of uh, well yeah, rock metal bands. Yeah, Dark Star is more like melodic metal or something. 
Yeah, they've had they've had a bit more symphonic metal more yeah. periods and like yeah. I think the last album was yeah. a little bit more like melodic. Sc- well, it was like it's I, more straightforward I think, than I. Yeah, like, I think Dark Star is mostly just about telling a story. Yeah. With the music. Yeah. Doesn't matter what music it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> um. Well, talking about your your um, fan base for now, I. I think it's mostly in Finland still. Yeah. Um, like, is there any like particular goals that you you have with with Shirain, like to go internationally or not? It really, was, or? it would be really nice to mm-hmm. go international. Yeah. We have uh, we have sent some um, some uh, emails and messages to the firms. Yeah. in the in the middle Europe and mm-hmm. uh, for me it would be very nice to get to tour uh, in Europe again mm-hmm. the last time was with fear of domination mm-hmm. so I really hope that Shireen will have the same uh, opportunities or even mm-hmm. more like yeah. go to Bakken or something like that. <laughs> small <Yeah>. things <laughs> but like for me I'm just trying to first of all do the music that feels like my own yeah. with the band I love and then I wish all the best for for us yeah. so but I know it requires like contacts and uh, lots of work so we have work to do <laughs> well, let's hope we can bring at, at yeah. least uh, some international people towards you with this <laughs> yes <laughs> um, I think we're about about there I have one fun question still, maybe. Yeah. Um, if you could describe uh, Shireen or Shireen's music yeah. using purely images. Images. What would you? <laughs> I know it's not an easy one, though. No. <laughs> if, if I would be our guitarist, it would be Lapland, reindeer, and beer. For me, <laughs> it would be. Uh, ah, <laughs> it would be something epic. Mm-hmm. Unicorn, rainbow, universe, <laughs> <laughs> the warrior Xena, you know. <laughs> 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 so yeah, something like that. Xena with unicorns. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Well, well yeah. that is perfect, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Xena with unicorns. Sounds good. Yeah, riding on the waves of the universe. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, lots of luck with your with your album. Thank you. Um, to wrap this up, anything you would like to say still to fans, future fans? Well, uh, of course, for a musician, it's important that uh, you find our music. Should I talk to the camera or not? <laughs> <laughs> you can choose to talk to. Hello, everybody. (laughs) Uh, For me, it is important that you will find our music. So we are trying to stay active as a band and to do reach out for us. If you have anything to ask, we hope that you enjoy our music and see you on the future gigs. All right. That was good. Thank you.